Hello friends, myself Shubha Sonam. I am a second year MBBS student at Ains New Delhi. And in this lesson, we are going to deal with the differences between chordates and non-chordates because it is important for you to know that. Okay, so let us first discuss the fundamental features of phylum chordata. I hope you recall from the previous lesson that the chordates are the ones which have notochord at some point of their life and they have paired pharyngeal gill slits, dorsal hollow nerve cord and a post anal tail which may or may not be present in the adult forms. So I hope uh, we remember what is notochord. It is a mesodermally derived rod shaped structure. Now let us talk about the differences. So the notochord here is present at some stage whereas here we don't have notochord. Notochord is absent. The central nervous system is dorsal and hollow and whereas in non chordates the central nervous system is ventral and solid the gill slits are present in the pharynx in either in the embryo or the adults like we do not have gill slits in our pharynx right so, but we must be having it maybe sometime uh, sometimes when we uh, at the embryonic stage or something so that is why the gill slits they are present at some uh, some stage either in the embryo or the adult in chordates whereas they are absent in the non chordates the tail which is the post anal tail is present at some stage in the life of the chordates and it is absent in the non chordates similarly the heart is ventral over here and here we have if the heart is present then we have a dorsal heart in non chordates the rbcs are present in chordates and absent in non chordates and in the rbcs we have the respiratory pigment hemoglobin whereas in non chordates if any res any of the respiratory pigment is present um, hemoglobin or others like cyano cyanoglobin or something anything else then those pigments are present inside the plasma because we do not have rbcs so these are the fundamental differences between the phy phylum chordata and uh, the other phylums which are included in the non chordates so basically uh, the first four are very important because they do not have exceptions but the other ones they may have some exceptions still you have to remember all the differences because they are important for you to know for the medical purpose uh, if you talk about the example then chordata is further divided into divisions and super classes and classes so further as we move around the hierarchy we'll definitely uh, ultimately reach to the examples but that is not important uh, all i need you to know that phylum chordata is divided further and we are going to learn about them further in the lessons and the non chordata uh, non chordates are the rest of the phylum like uh, the phylum from the um, phy uh, the phylums from porifera to echinodermata are all included under non chordates so i hope uh, you till now you must have learned the examples of those phylum so those are all the examples of non chordates as well so this was all about the differences i hope you understood this lesson Thank you so much.